Hello darklings, today we're gonna do a little review of uh, some false eyelash this magnetic but first I wanted to show how I, did, how I did this makeup and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like, comment and share and now we're gonna see how I did this makeup so stay tuned as you notice, I already done my base makeup and my eyebrows because this goes a little faster to show my makeup. And I start with the color Paris from Lovelace Cosmetics uh, palette drink for me and live forever. And I put it on the most part of my eyelid, so it's gonna cover it. And I even take it up or to the sides. Then I follow with a dark color from the same palette. And uh, it's called I Will Die. It's very dramatic names in this palette. And I take it in the outer part and take it up like a wing too to get that little more extra effect to a certain eye makeup look that is maybe a little more gothic or at least dramatic than ordinary makeup can be. And I do this till I feel satisfied so it can take a little time. Then I go to the little more grayish one that is named Belong in Hell. And I put that uh, in more to the inner part, but not all the way in. So I still have some of the lightest part there. And you can see I need to stretch sometimes my eyes because they are swollen and they are hooded. So I have a lot of different things to go on with it. And when I'm satisfied with it, I take a little more of the light the color again to make it pop a little more and uh, if you need you can also go over the other colors but i didn't think i needed that much then i use a clean brush to smudge it out or like blend it the edge and i clean up the edges a little bit because it was a little bit messy after that it's time for a glitter primer because I thought I should use some glitter today on the eyelid. So you need to stick that because glitter can have a big fallout and not be stick that good either. So the one from NYX is very good. And this is one old glitter I have from Viva La Diva. And I'm not sure if you can buy this one. I had it for years. I have it in other colors. But this time I took one that is more like a silver color on it. But it don't show up that much because I already used similar colors in the eyeshadow. But it's still a little more extra effect to it. And I like glitter. People that know me know that I love to add these type of things. I like sparkles. Or like Trevor usually said uh, that I must be a magpie or something in another life. Because I always love shiny and glittery stuff. And of course you repeat the same thing on the other eye so just continue as before put on the primer and add some glitter you decide yourself how much you want i didn't take that much this time because i still wanted to have a little more not extravagant type of thing but still sparkly and i hope you can see a little better in this video how i did my makeup because I used little other things to put on uh, like a stand or something and put the height on the mirror I use in too. So that's why I look a little strange when I'm sitting down and doing because I try to see in the mirror what the hell I'm doing. Because usually I actually stand up in front of the mirror in the bathroom and there's so much better light there too. So it's easier for me to work from there but then I can't record anything at all what I'm doing. And of course, glitter is falling everywhere, so I needed to brush it off a bit. So even if I like sparkles, maybe I don't want to have it everywhere. And now I thought it was time to put on some blusher. And I used one I had for a very long time. And it's one of my favorites too, because this goes well to my colors. I like a little more colder colors. Uh, not that romantic type of things and this one is a little more effectful to my skin tone 
And when I'm done with the blush, I'll take the highlighter and I usually start with the lighter part of it when I put on my nose, on my nose tip, right under the nose. And you can see everywhere I put it in when in the forehead and I also take it just under the eyes part above my chin. And after that I usually follow with the darker under the light that goes between the lighter and the blusher. Because I think it's a, a good transformation from the different color types. And when you're satisfied with that, it's time for eyeliner and for mascara. And of course, I will do that outside the camera. Even when it comes to the eyelashes, I'm gonna put them on outside the camera too. But I'll show you that it's important that you remember to shake the bottle for the eyeliner that you use for the magnetic eyelashes. But first, I do with my lips. And I use Loveless Cosmetics Magical Vampire Princess is the color. And it's a color that suits me very well. Not too light and not too dark. And it goes with a lot of different makeup uh, styles too. So you don't have to think that much. And I finish with a NYX setting spray. So like I said, it's a review about uh, Magnetic Falls eyelashes. I have very hard to find something that works because I use uh, spray and drops for my eyes all the time so I'm not sure this is gonna work I haven't tried it with spraying a whole day or something but I have tried before and during that time I could notice that uh, the eyeliner that is with uh, the iron parts in it uh, was not good enough so those eyelashes didn't stay and then they didn't fit that well those fits very well, they feel soft, they feel a little bit luxury and the package I bought, they are pretty big and I have already used one <laughs> as you can see but in the package I bought it was a lot of eyelashes to use, a little different variations too and you got two eyeliners with it but I started with put on my ordinary eyeliner first to make it all complete with my makeup but what should I say else? Yeah, I think it's a great choice for the most people that don't want to use uh, eyelash glue or have uh, eyelashes on all the time. If you like me, have uh, glasses. It's not that easy all the time to put on false eyelashes because they're often very long. So it goes into your glasses and it's not comfy at all. It starts to stick in your eyes or that. Something else, it, it just don't feel right. So lucky for all people that don't need to use glasses or have glasses at least that works for them. But my glasses don't. So I thought I wanted to give this a try. If I need to go away sometimes for a photo shoot, that means that I don't have to have them on all day. I can actually take them off easy. And if I want, I can even change, hopefully. And just maybe just add some more of this thing. But they do say that you should do an allergic test first for the eyeliner because you can have a reaction because it's on your eyelid. But as far as you can see, I haven't got anything yet. And this is how it's gonna be. I'm gonna add the pictures with it so you can see how it goes. But overall, uh, I think they look great. It's not like the ones I ordered for some year ago and I was not satisfied at all with them. Uh, the only thing I can say is that uh, the little tool that I forgot to bring with me. Uh, I shouldn't use that one. It was a very simple one. I mostly don't use the tool at all because I use often more my fingers and have uh, a little stick that I use to press my eyelashes in place when I use glue but in this case I don't think you really need to have this uh, other thing but if you feel unsecure you can always have it but I should recommend you to buy a real one even better much more better quality because this was very plastic and uh, I didn't feel like it worked that well that it should I have 
proper ones too, but I don't to use them, like I said. So, But I wanted to try just because they were included in this package. And overall, the price, not that bad. Uh, because it's rich, it's very cheap. You maybe have to expect them to take a little longer before they arrive. But I could say they cost just over four British pounds totally. Or in Swedish krona, I paid around 50 krona total for it, but so that's not much at all. So if you see that I got the, this many and I already have one pair on, so that's a great choice and you can use them a lot of times before you maybe have to throw them. The thing is that the eyeliner I'm probably gonna finish before, but I know that nowadays you can actually buy this type of eyeliner in the most shops with makeup. So if you like this video, don't forget to comment, like and share. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And I love you all. Stay safe, stay weird and be nice to each other. Bye. This is actually the tool that follows. And you can see it's very cheap plastic material. So it's not good. So I wanted to add just that into the video too. So you know that. I hope you like it. Bye, better one. This is not a good one. It's not even go up easy.